Are you properly pricing your ad management services? Well, that's what we're diving into today in this episode of Online Confidential, where I take you behind the scenes to talk about secret ad manager business. So when you get started out running Facebook ads, typically you won't be charging the same rate as you would be two or three years down the track. I mean, maybe you are, maybe you're there. And if you are, you're not alone. I have people who come into my elite ad manager certification who are in that exact same situation. They started charging these rates. They have inched up maybe $200 or so, but they still have clients who are on that old, old rate that they initially started out with. And we give them strategies to help increase those prices and make the mindset changes needed to be able to really charge what they're worth. But when you are starting out, you are typically charging like a lower rate because you're learning, right? And I really would not be recommending to anyone that if you're taking on your first ad client, you don't know anything about ads, that you are not charging $2,000 a month, okay? You can work up to that rate. But when you are starting out, be very clear with who it is that you're working with that, you know, this is just getting started. You're maybe doing it to get like some testimonials, like case studies, and you're doing it for a reduced rate but we're not going to stay at that reduced rate. And there's a number of reasons why. First of all, you will burn out, okay? If you are charging too low of a price, you are going to need to juggle so many clients to be able to make things affordable. So if you wanted to make $10,000 a month, and so that's just looking at revenue, not even what you would be bringing in. So $10,000 a month revenue. And if you're just charging, let's just say $750 a month, then you need to have 13 clients. That's one, three, 13 clients to be able to make that $10,000 a month. Versus if you're an experienced ad manager and you're charging $2,000 a month, plus a percentage of ad spend, then just five clients you're making ten thousand dollars a month and maybe you think holy cow there is no way i could charge two thousand dollars a month well if you're just starting out then yeah probably no but that can be something that you can be working towards if you have been running um, ads for clients for a number of years then i suggest that you could be charging two thousand dollars a month so what do you think would be better for you for your lifestyle uh, for working at home with your family for your mental health if you had 13 clients that you were working with versus just five and you're making that same amount of money. So looking after yourself and having a hourly rate that is worthy of the service and the value that you bring, helping clients to generate more revenue and to build and scale their business is certainly worth a lot more than $750 a month. I mean, I know people who do organic Pinterest marketing, etc and they just charge $750 a month or $500 or $1,000 or even $2,000 a month. So why would you charge anything less than that if you're an experienced Facebook ad manager? So making sure that you have a decent hourly rate that reflects the value that you bring so that you don't have to be juggling so many clients because if it's just you and you're juggling 13 clients, you are going to burn out. There is way too much going on. Okay, then you would likely need to get some help to manage those 13 clients. And if you are only charging $750 a month, that really does not leave a lot of wiggle room to be able to get the support that you need, like a virtual assistant to help out or someone to help out with copy or someone to help out with graphics. So not only are you doing yourself a disservice by charging a low rate and therefore having a really, really low hourly rate, you're doing your clients a disservice as well by not being able to give them the correct support to run their Facebook ads. So again, another reason why you need to increase your rates because you may be a bit of a digital unicorn. Awesome, I love that. But chances are there's some areas that you're not quite as strong at in others. And if you're saying, heck, I'm nowhere near a digital unicorn, then that's fine too. Not everybody is, that's for sure, but you can still be great at running ads. You may not be so strong at copywriting. That's a whole different gift all of itself. So 
the best thing that you could do for your clients and help them get results if they don't have a copywriter on board and offering copywriting is part of your services you need to factor in that cost to outsource it so that you can get someone who writes copy and does great copywriting for your clients ads so that they've got the best chance of getting results in the newsfeed okay you may not be the best at graphic design and your client may not have a graphic design person and that's part of your agreement as well so you need to have that factored in to be able to afford to outsource someone to do the graphic design work perhaps you're not the most organized person i mean you may have it all up here in your head and but by the time you're running facebook ads you're talking to the clients you're doing client meetings you're taking discovery calls you're loading up campaigns you're optimizing etc there's not enough hours in the day you're working way too many hours you need to get someone on board a virtual assistant on board or a marketing assistant who can help you they can help you by gathering the weekly reports of the ads okay or even the daily reports they can help you by managing your inbox managing your calendars doing all the back end stuff they can even learn how to load up campaigns and ad sets ready for you to come in and just put in the ads and the copy or do the audience targeting i mean that in itself can take so much time so buy some of your time back and get a va or a marketing assistant on board who can help you and again if you're just charging $750 a month or too low of a rate then you can't get that support you need you're burning out you're working way too many hours and then we start to miss things and so therefore your clients aren't getting the best results that you can get them okay so again why you need to charge appropriate prices and not bottom dollar is so that you can perform the best ad management services you can for your clients either by guarding your time not burning out having time to be refreshed hiring someone like a va to come on board and support you or hiring copywriters or designers to also help you get the best ads possible for your clients so i'd love to hear your thoughts about that comment below or send us an email at success at social charlie and we would love to hear from you what's your experience been like with the pricing that you charged clients have you been charging too low have you been able to summon up the courage to charge some more premium prices of two thousand dollars or so we'd love to hear from you that's it for this episode i look forward to seeing you next time bye for now